um, Mount Lydia Memorial Garden. That's the sign going back to the, gar the Memorial Garden that we will be burying our family in. Mainly me. I'm the one who wants to be buried there. I think my mom wants to be buried in Augusta Memorial Park with her folks. Oh, I just saw the deer. Yeah, they live in here. Um, just gonna... We're not gonna chase them or anything, obviously. They're trying to get away from me and I'm not trying to freak them out. So, just moving forward. We're going up the trail. Around. This is just how I normally walk it. You know, usually, well, some, most of the time, 50% to 75% of the time, um, when I go to check the mail, I take the cemetery. <laughs> it's just a much prettier walk. This is the sign I made for Mount Lydia. It's a little bit simpler, easier to read. And this just points you in the direction of the rest of the cemetery. So it's Mod Podged. It's not made for outdoor. I probably need to put some more outdoor Mod Podge on it. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts until I remember to do that. I really hope it lasts for a while, but I'm not gonna just give it the benefit because those signs are not made for the outdoors at all. Um, not made for outside. They will not last very long. I'm just hoping that, I'm hoping that they do. Cause I mean, I paint rocks and people mod podge them all the time and put them outside. That's the other, that's the other way. I'm pretty sure the deer went up there to hide from me, which is good. I'm glad they feel safe to hide in here and not leave and go on the neighbor's property while they'll get shot. And then we have a sign coming in. It's like, here's our entrance from the road, uh, which is a pretty big entrance. I wish there was a gate though, but I would like to work on that. So if you come in from the road, you see all of the graves and stuff right in front of you. And then you'll see the sign that I put on the biggest tree in. So you'll know this is Mount Lydia, guys. This is Mount Lydia. And then we're going to come out. Because I think I'm just going to walk down the side of the road to the house like this. Take a nice leisurely walk. I love this tree. I love how it's wrapped around this pawpaw tree. And um, the Mod Podge on this needs to be redone. You probably saw that in the beginning of the video. Um, it needs to be worked on a bit. So, and then we have this tiny sign that I paid like, what, $15 for on Walmart? It was just a ripoff. So people coming into the cemetery are told, please don't litter. But people that drive, drive too fast to see it. They drive too fast to see any of my signs, but I do the best I can. So let me just walk you down the road and I hear a truck coming and it's going to be loud. So we'll let him pass and then we'll disembark on our next adventure. I will be posting updates as I can, as I can. So hold on a second while he passes. Here's a rock. I'm not sure if this is a property line. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not sure if this is a property line or a headstone. That person scared me and I ended up flipping them off. I don't like that. I don't like when people honk at me. It's rude. So there's some graves in there that you can't see. And then you can see these. Which I'm also not sure are property line markers or headstones. There's one back here. Two. And there's two back here. As I was saying before the loud truck, there's two rocks back here. And there's one big one here and one big one here. VDOT also hit those. Um, 
see right here. They left a mark on that one. Very rude. So, if you guys are ever interested in the history of this place, it's Bond, Bond of Iron, Master and Slave at Buffalo Forge. Just going to give you some information about it. Charles B. D. wrote it, along with some other people. It's recommended by Wall Street Journal. Of course it is. They publish all kinds of things. Um, and it's in the book section of American or African American History. So I'm tired as heck. This is about $17 USA, $23 in Canada. Which I'm not sure why Canadians would be interested. But I saw this bad boy earlier, so I'm going to take it home with me and recycle it. This is what I deal with every day. Every day. At least it's a pretty one this time. Usually it's beer bottles and broken glass, which I have hit with my lawnmower before. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a pleasant day, a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next adventure, exploring, updating this cemetery. Um, I hope you give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far. Subscribe to my channel, and... Don't forget, no trespassing. It's all private property, so be respectful. If you are family, you're welcome, but if you're not, I wouldn't suggest coming up. Hold on. I wouldn't suggest coming up and just parking, parking or driving by real slow, being a jerk or any, any fun stuff. I would just like check out the Facebook page, which is Mount Lydia Colored Baptist Church Cemetery on Facebook, and I can link that as well. So that's all I have for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, and I really appreciate your support. Bye!